How to get back into ketosis fast after a cheat day. Okay, so you cheated. It's okay, don't freak out. We all do it. It's hard to stick to keto 365 days out of the year unless you have been practicing keto for an extremely long time or your health depends on it. You are probably feeling crappy right now, bloated may have a headache, and have gained up to 5 pounds, don't worry, it's all water, this my friend, is the carb hangover, and it sucks. After 3 years of practicing keto I've learned some tips and tricks to getting back after a cheat. Steps to getting back into ketosis after a cheat day 1. Accept that you cheated and don't let the cheating go on. What this means is don't let your cheat day turn into a cheat week, or even, God forbid, a cheat month. You had a bad day, went to a party or it was a holiday and temptation got the best of you. It's okay. Own it and move on. Don't have the mindset that you ruined it and you have to wait until the following Monday to start back up like you always do every time your diet. Keto does not work this way. You will do more harm the longer you continue to cheat. I have a bad habit of this myself, any time I cheat, the next day it is so easy to justify myself to cheat again and start again the following Monday. It also has to do with the carb cravings that come after a cheat. Once your body gets all that glucose and burns it out, it wants more, and more, which leaves you craving carbs the next day. It's easy to resist those cravings when you are in nutritional ketosis because they usually go away by themselves, another perk of keto. However, once you cheat, the carb monster comes back and wants to eat all the carbs, all day. This is probably my biggest issue when it comes to cheating. I don't know how to not let a cheat day turn into days. The preceding tips usually help with this. 2. Do a fast. One of the quickest ways to deplete your body of the glucose you just filled it with is by doing a fast. 24 hour water and coffee only fast are ideal, however, if you can't go that long, any intermittent fast will still be beneficial. What does that look like? You can do OMAD, one meal a day or eat within an 8 hours, 6 hours, or 4 hour eating window. For example, I'll do one 24 hour fast, then the days after that I will eat between 12 pm to 4 pm or 12 pm to 6 pm. You don't have to go crazy and fast for days and punish yourself for cheating. Fasting is another tool in the toolbox to help your body focus on processing all that glucose it all got and not worry about dealing with a new food as well. 3. Avoid eating dairy, nuts and anything containing sweeteners. Why this tip? Over the years I have discovered that those foods stall my weight loss drastically. Eating too much dairy or too many nuts may cause your body to become inflamed and hold on to water. You may think that you gain 5 to 6 pounds of fat, but it's really water that your body is holding on to. After a few days of cutting out these inflammatory foods, your body will let go of that water and that weight will be gone. It only makes sense to omit them after a cheat if you are trying to get into keto faster. Don't worry, you can bring them back in again after you are in ketosis, but be careful not to overdo it. 4. Do strength training workouts. Weight training is one of the most effective ways to get rid of all the carbs and sugar you just ate. This by far, is the most effective way for me to get back into ketosis after a cheat. Another reason why this works for me is that if I just worked so hard to try to burn through all the carbs and sugar I ate the previous day, the last thing I want to do is load my body up with. 5. Follow 20 grams of total carb regimen for up to a week. So far, you have probably been counting net carbs, total carbs fiber, but after you cheat, I encourage you to switch to counting just total carbs, don't subtract the fiber, and keep it under 20 grams a day. Limiting your carb intake under 20 grams of total carbs will help you get back into ketosis faster. After you are back in, you can go back to your old regimen. Personally, I follow 20 grams of total carbs when I am doing keto in general because it helps me to achieve optimal weight loss. The point is, the fewer carbs you eat, the quicker your body will burn through the glucose and get you back into fat burning mode. 6. 
track and measure. To help you stick to the plan and know exactly how many carbs you are eating you will need to track your food for the next week or so if you don't already do this. I don't track every day when I am consistent with keto, but if I cheat, I become meticulous about tracking which helps me get back into fat burning mode quicker. On the other hand, measuring your ketones ensures that how you are eating is actually working. You don't have to check each day. Once or twice a week until you are back into ketosis is good enough. Then, just check occasionally to make sure you are still on the right track. 7. Drink a lot of water and take electrolytes. I wouldn't say this tip enables you to get back into ketosis faster, however, it will save you from experiencing the keto flu all over again. Not to mention, how are you going to want to work out or fast if you are going through all the symptoms of the keto flu? You probably won't, which will make this process even longer. After I cheat, I drink Ultima Replenish every day, fill up my water bottle at least three times a day and drink Zip Fizz before my workout to give me a boost of energy. Bonus tip, find out why you are cheating in the first place. Chances are, this isn't your first or last time cheating on keto. When you constantly cheat on your diet, it means one of these things. The diet is way too restrictive for you. You haven't dealt with your relationship with food and keep self-sabotaging. Your hormones are imbalanced causing you to crave carbs and sugar all of the time. Your gut isn't getting enough fiber, making it really hard to stick with strict keto. You don't have the accountability or support that you need. In conclusion, I want to say that you shouldn't beat yourself up about having a cheat day. This probably isn't your first, and it won't be your last. As long as you don't make it a habit and follow the tips above after you do cheat you will not undo all the hard work you have put in on your ketogenic journey. Now get up, wipe the dust off and get back on the keto bus. What do you think? Let us know what you think below.